What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today we're going to do another how-to, and this is going to be the how-to for the Speedix IS-100 Fly Tower. Now I have the flight controller, this is the F4 flight controller, and this is the 20 amp uh, Bia Heli S ESC. These are made to link together um, with pins, I'll show you that in a second. Now there is a VTX that goes with this, okay, the IS-100 VTX that goes with this, but it only does 100 milliwatts, so... I was looking around, and I was checking the um, pinouts and things, and because some boards that are made to go with some stacks like this in the 20 by 20 don't have enough of these pins broken out, like so you can actually wire up different peripherals. So this one does, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but what I decided to use was the the new Amway. Uh, the TX004. This is the Amway VTX 20x20 20 20, uh, mounting stack. Uh, 200 milliwatt maximum output. 46 channel, I think I've seen. 64 channel. And the thing that I like about this is it has tramp telemetry instead of smart audio. So I will be able to use this with uh, Betaflight 3.3 without a problem. And it should connect without any issues. So I will show you that. This will be a separate video on its own, but I will also show you how, I won't talk much about this VTX, but I will show you how to hook up a separate VTX to this system. And then we can go from there. So with your, here's the, um, the flight controller. It's an F4 flight controller. You do get these directions here. So everything is broken out, which is nice. Uh, you got your VTX in, these are solder pads. So this is the way it's going. So you got solder in pads for the VTX, which makes it easy. You got a camera pin header, which I made, and now I just dropped it. So here's my camera pin header. It comes with four of these for the camera, buzzer, LEDs, and S bus or your receiver pins. Uh, so here's my camera pin. Here's my buzzer pin, red and black, and then my S bus pin. All right, it's going to go here. Uh, already ready to go on that. So you can kind of set up all your pins and then there's one extra one. This would go for the LED. So there you go, you got all your pins. Now with the ESC, you do get this tiny little cap, you get the wire, no connector, and you get these little connectors here. You also get some nylon connectors for this. Um, and that's all you get. Now this is a little, 150 microfarad, 25 volt. I don't know if that's going to be any good, but we'll check it out. So, here's your little pin insert, and you got your pad, pad, solder pads right there. So, I just have them soldered up. And your pin header, when you get this all going, is just going to slide into this. So, that matches up there, which tells me that this is the front, which tells me this is going to be motor one, two, three, four. Cause there's no actual markings on this. Oh yeah, there is. So look, one, two, three, four. They're right, they're right there. So that's good. One, two, three, four. We know this is the top because this has the pin header. There you go. Nothing to it. All right. So let's get into connecting this guy up. Let's look at the specifics on the ESC real quick. Uh, 20 amp continuous, 25 burst, two to four S, BL Heli S. D shot 600. Battery port one is used for input. Strongly recommend a solder aluminum electrolyte capacitor, which we have. No five volt output. And then this is your out on the pin. So that's nice. It gives you the pin header. So you, if you ever need to, you know, hot shot this, if you, you have the pin schematic already. So if you want to use this with something else, Boom, there you go. You don't have to do it like what I did to the Emacs stack, which was a complete pain in the butt. So there you go, all right. Now I already have this taken out of another build, so we're gonna get into this. Now I know I'm gonna need these. So let's get this out of the way, let's get the VTX out of here. Let's get some of these extra pins out of here. 
Okay, so here's one thing I am noticing right now. The M-Way has M3 holes, and this has M2 holes, because this has M3 washers and stuff that come with the VTX. So, again, that'll be something separate. We'll talk about that with the VTX. All right, let's see what we got to do here. Now, I want to do... We're going to set up this. We'll get the ESC on. We'll get the wires soldered. So this is how I had it before. And I'll try this again. See if this works. Okay, so that seems to work. And that's gonna give us a bit of soft mounting. So that's how I'm gonna hook that up. Not perfect, but it will give us some soft mounting. All right, I'm gonna get all four of those on. We'll move to the next step. Okay, so we have this here. Now, we have our clearance for our battery strap down here. Uh, we have a little bit of soft mounting, okay? Once we tighten this guy up, it'll be good to go. So now, this is the front. We got our pin header here in the back, so I'm good with that. Now, we're going to solder on our motors. Now, I'm just going to solder the wires on, and we can fix the direction and all later. And the configurator and all that good stuff. And if you've done a form on ESC somewhere along the line, this is going to be the same, the same thing. And for those of you that haven't, it's pretty self-explanatory. These wires can go on in any configuration. And then by swapping two of the leads, you can change the direction of the motor. And I will tuck these down after we're done. All right, so I'll hook up the other four motors, and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we have the ESC now mounted. Okay, now what I noticed was that these threads here, these two spacers are the same, but these threads are a little tall. You're going to want this to be tight. So you might have to cut a little bit off the top of these threads so, the, so there's enough space for this to fit all the way down. Because you want all this to um, fit proper. And you want everything to be nice and tight. So the key is once this all goes together, and you slide this over the holes, it goes in the pins right there. And it sits all nice and tight. And then when you put your bolts on, it sandwiches it together. So, all right. So now we have to prep this guy. Now, if you look here, okay, you have a couple of choices to make. And if you look at this, it says voltage select for camera, voltage select for VTX, and these are also where your extra UARTs are. Okay, so if you're going to run, and it looks like your voltage select for your receiver too, voltage select for receiver on the other side. And then your two UARTs are here for um, if you were running smart port or tramp audio which we are so we're gonna have to do some soldering here on the bottom of this board now if i show you this i'm my vtx and my camera are all available to run bat power so we're going to solder if i show you this it's going to be this pin center and then you pick which one you want so i'm going to do bat for both okay and then down here i'm going to choose five volts and let me solder those up and we'll look at it in a second Okay, so we got these, we got the flight controller prep now. You know, this is stuff that you have to, you know, when you're setting up a new flight controller, make sure you, you take a look and see what you got and what you're gonna have to do. So this is all in the underneath. So you can see we got bat voltage selected for the camera, bat voltage selected for the VTX, five volts selected for my receiver, and then we have the telemetry line on T3. Um, you know, just keep in mind which one you use, if it's six or three. Chris from the future here, one more thing that I didn't realize there when we were putting this together. If you see right here, along with selecting your voltage, you see an RXI and RXS, all right? So the S is gonna be um, S bus, and the I, I guess, is I bus or satellite or the other ones. So make sure you bridge these two. There's three pads here. Bridge the two for the center and the S bus. All right, continue on. And then down here, this is also the corresponding number. 
they believe it's five. You got RX1 and RX5 there, I believe. And that's PPM. PPM SBUS RX1. So I imagine basically what that's saying is that um, UART1 is going to be your SBUS. And then UART3 is going to be our smart, um, tramp telemetry. So that should cover that. And then these, the rest of these wires are going to go here when we get to that. So what I'm going to do is now we're ready at this point to mount this up. Now, as long as you mounted this in the correct orientation, so one, two, three, four, all the pins are going to line up fine and you shouldn't have any issues. But if you changed this around, you need to pay attention to where your things are because this is always going to be motor one, this corner. Whether if you want your lead coming out the side or the front, if you spin it like this, then motor one is going to be over here. If you just solid to the closest one, you're going to be out of whack. So keep in, keep in mind your wire motor placement. All right, we're just going to make that up. Make sure we got a nice and square and very tight. All right, so we look very tight there. We're nice and flat on these pins. Everything feels nice and tight. So we're good with that. Now, I'm also going to go ahead, let's see. Now, like I said, because this is M3, this guy is going to go on top of here. But of course, like I said, they went and used M3. So we're just gonna use M2 anyway, but I'm just gonna check this. Let's see. Let's see how much height we got. Okay, so we got plenty of height. And I can put my receiver in there and we can build that up a little bit. So that'll be good. All right. Let's finish hooking up our peripherals here and we can wrap this guy up. So we got our camera, or again, our arrows pointing forward. Let's bring in our paper to the top of the board. So our VTX is this one and then camera is gonna be this one. So now this is gonna run right to the camera. Our, we got this prepped already. So this is going to be our S bus. Okay. At this point, we are good to try and do a little test here and see where we're at. Um, but you know what we'll do is we will connect the rest of this before we put it all together. So this is going to be our ground, our power, and our video. So the way this is this one is made here it's nice that the vtx is not on the pin because they do sell it with and without the vtx so that's kind of nice so you can just use the pin header from your vtx whatever it is and you'll be able to just solder it straight up so if we look at this we got the top one is video positive negative so tweezers all right, all right i'm gonna have to get a little close here so we know the top one is video and it is marked on the board video out and we know the middle one is positive and I selected on the bottom that that's battery voltage right and there we go and there's our ground so basically as far as the how to for the IS 100 we are complete, okay? Stay tuned for the review of the Amway VTX. I'll have that coming up. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, what I will tell you is if you have the VTX, um, if you have the VTX that comes with this, the Speedix VTX, it will slot right in here. You'll put another set of standoffs on here. Then it will slot right on there and you will only have to just hook up your camera to that VTX. So it's kind of nice, but 100 milliwatts, nah. You know, I like 200. 200 for me is definitely better. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not using these pins, and what I would recommend you do 
is snip them lower so they don't bang into anything but don't make sure they're not touching or shorting on on themselves so i'm just going to snip them a little lower but do make sure they're not touching and then they have these little protectors that came with it i'm just going to slot that back in there so we don't get a short on those pins because there is voltage coming through those pins there. So keep that in mind. And then when I put the spacers there and stick this up on top, it won't be touching. And then my antenna will go, it'll go like this. And my antenna will go right out the back and we'll be good to go. So there you go. That's the how to wire up the Speedix IS100 fly tower. Uh, any questions, don't hesitate to ask me down below. Uh, and stay tuned for the review of it, how I like it. Uh, so far, the build process for me was very easy. These wires are, they're not quite silicone, and they're not quite plastic. They're like a weird hybrid. They're like crappy silicone, I guess I would say. So, oh, I'm missing one other thing, the buzzer. I might have to short, shorten this up a little bit. But your positive and negative buzzer is going to go here, and then your LED would go here if you were using LED control. So there you go. And this is for our camera, right? That's gonna plug in. And that's pretty much it. How to hook up the Speedix IS100 fly tower. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.